Hi and welcome to our lesson on multiplying by 0 and 1. Here is a box of eggs. In each box there are 10 eggs. Here are three boxes of eggs. We have 10 in this box, 10 in this box and 10 in this box. We have 1, 2, 3 boxes of 10. 3 lots of 10. 3 times 10 equals 30. If we take a box away, we now have two lots of 10. Two times 10 equals 20. We can take away another box to leave one lot of 10, which equals 10. If we take away this last box, we have no eggs. We have zero lots of 10. There are no eggs, so 0 times 10 equals 0. If we have a 0 in our multiplication, the answer is 0. 0 lots of any number always equals 0. Here is an empty box containing 0 eggs. We can take 3 of these boxes. We have 0, 0 and 0. We have 1, 2, 3 lots of 0. 3 times 0 equals 0. There are no eggs in these 3 boxes. When we multiply by 0, we get an answer of 0. Even if we add another box, we still have zero eggs. We have one, two, three, four lots of zero, which equals zero. Four times zero equals zero. Any number multiplied by zero always equals zero. We will now look at these examples. 0 times 5 equals 0. Even 0 times 0 equals 0 because we are multiplying by 0. So we have no lots of nothing. It doesn't matter what the other number is. 57 times 0 equals 0. Even if we have several numbers multiplied together, if one number is zero, our answer is still zero. Six times zero times nine equals zero. In these examples, we can see that as long as we are multiplying by zero, our answer is always zero. Here is a box of 10 eggs. We only have one box. We have one lot of 10, which equals 10. One times 10 equals 10. Here is a box of six eggs. We have one box. One lot of six, which equals six eggs in total. We can see that a given number multiplied by 1 equals the given number. 1 times 6 equals 6. Here we have a box with one egg. We have one lot of one egg, which equals one egg in total. Now we have another box with one egg in it. So we have two lots of one egg, which equals two eggs. Two times one equals two. We have another box with one egg. We have three lots of one egg, which is three eggs in total. Three times one equals three. One 
multiplied by a given number equals the given number. We will now look at the following examples. 1 times 8 equals 8. We just get the number 8. 7 times 1 will not make 7 any larger. We just get 7. Even large numbers like 94 remain the same when multiplied by 1. 94 times 1 equals 94. 0 will also remain the same when it's multiplied by 1. 0 times 1 equals 0. In these examples, we are multiplying by 1. So the answer is just the other number in the multiplication. 8, 7, 94 and 0. In the last example, we also know that any number multiplied by 0 equals 0. Here are some questions for you to try. Work out the following multiplications. Pause the video and have a go. Question 1. We are multiplying by 0, so our answer is 0. Question 2. We are multiplying by 1, so 9 stays as 9. Question 3. We are multiplying by 0, so our answer is 0. Question 4. We are multiplying by 0, so our answer is 0. Thank you for watching. For further practice, more questions are available on our website.